crane flaps wings. So with crane flaps wings, we want to start with our feet about shoulder width apart, uh, knees, ankles, and hips nice and soft. So we can have a little bit of a, a little bit of a balance or a little bit of flex in the knee. And this is a qigong exercise that primarily looks shoulder and arm orientated, but most of the primary movement comes from the core. So you want to make sure that you have your core moving um, correctly first before you add the arm movement in. So everything's, the movement is uh, coherent and organized. So it looks a little bit funny without, <laughs> without the arms. Um, so you're first going to relax through the abdomen and let your body weight pull you forward and allow your chin to reach out in front of you. And then you're gonna bend in your knees, bend in your hips, drop down and draw your core back and that's gonna pull your neck and chin back with you. And then you're just gonna roll up so that you're straight, straightening the legs and then fall forward, extending the chin and then roll backwards. So something like this. Again, without the arms, it looks, <laughs> it probably feels very strange. But then when we add the arms in, the movement starts to make a little more sense. So from the front, it looks like this. Opening through the chest, and the arms are circling around. And then the hands are rotating and you're drawing your elbows in along your sides like so each time. And note that the arms don't go up above the head, they go to shoulder height. So your shoulders can stay down and relax the entire time. There's no movement like involved that looks something like this. So here, and it should just feel nice and relaxed. When my arms extend, I'm pushing my shoulder blades apart and pressing the spine that's between the shoulder blades back out behind me. So it feels like my spine is curving and extending this way as my fingertips reach out in the opposite direction. So the spine and the hands are moving in opposite directions, sort of opposing one another like this. And as I draw my hands back, I want to press my sternum forward, reaching with my sternum back in the direction that my hands were going like so. And you'll notice my hips are quite involved here. So when I'm reaching like this, I'm pushing my hips back, flattening my lower back and tucking my tailbone under. And then as I go this way, I'm bringing my hips forward and straightening my legs. So it is a full body movement, even though it kind of looks more like it's just the arms and shoulders that are involved. And we just want our breathing to be relaxed and calm and following the movement. So we're not inhaling in one direction or exhaling in another specific direction of movement. We're just observing our breath letting it relax. And we just want to feel openness through the sternum, pectorals, intercostal muscles, diaphragm. We just want it to feel more open and relaxed as we go. We're not building tension and trying to restrict our core. We want it to feel open and calm and relaxed. And here, as my arms come around, I want to be supporting them and moving them with the muscle groups underneath the arm and shoulder rather than above. So I don't want to tire my deltoid muscles out by just using my deltoids to swing my arm like this. I want to use um, partly my pectoral, my latimus dorsi muscle back here, and then the, particularly these intercostal muscles underneath the armpit in the in through the rib cage to really be lifting from below and supporting the arm. So it should feel something akin to 
having your arm floating on top of the surface of water and, and sort of buoyed up and lifted and supported from below. Um, otherwise, quite often the deltoid muscle can get tired out before the rest of those larger muscle groups. So you can be going through the drill quite nicely, but then you start to feel fatigue sort of in the top of the pectoral and the deltoid muscle in particular, while the rest of your core is still kind of enjoying the exercise. Um, so we want to avoid that if we can by thinking about lifting up from below with these muscle groups here and then using the shoulder blades to extend the arms forward like so, rather than just with the, <laughs> just with the deltoid muscles. So just do a couple more for demonstration purposes. Here, remember the hands are turning over and we're drawing them back in, like you're pulling a big heavy drawer back, like so. And just, just let your neck relax and follow the movement. So you don't really have to, now that we have the our arms engaged, you don't really have to worry about protruding the chin out ahead, but just relax through the lower neck and following the movement. Just so you can kind of feel the whole movement from your heels to your calves, to your hamstrings, to your lower back, right up to your shoulder and then up to your fingertips. Flap swings. <laughs>